everyone and welcome back to Willow's Notes. Today's video is question of the day, but unlike all the previous question of the days, today we have a free response question. It's a short free response question. So pause the video, try to answer the questions, and then hit play so that we review the answers together. Let's read the question. Meat tenderizer powder is one of the most popular ways to tenderize meat. The powder contains pepain, an enzyme extracted from the papaya plant that can break muscle fibers and collagen once sprinkled on meat. Let's look at some of the keywords. We have enzyme, papain is an enzyme, so we know that we're dealing with an enzyme. What kind of enzyme? Does it break carbs, fats? And that we already know that it breaks proteins because it's given that it can break muscle fibers and collagen, both of which are protein. Now let's read A. Identify the type of monomer that makes up this enzyme. We know that enzymes are proteins, so don't be quick and answer protein because it says identify the type of monomer. We want the building block of proteins, which is amino acids. B. Explain how the reaction that breaks collagen by papain occurs. Reaction that breaks collagen. So basically they want us to describe hydrolysis, right? So we can say that papain enables hydrolysis of proteins or polypeptides. In hydrolysis, water is used as a reactant to break down the peptide bonds between the amino acids. If you feel like you need more information on hydrolysis, I have a separate video all about hydrolysis. I will link it down in the description. Make sure to watch that first. Let's go to C. The pH of papaya ranges from 5.2 to 6. Predict the effect on the activity of papain if it is placed in a product with a pH of 9. We already know that enzymes work best at specific pH and it is clear from the question that the specific pH of papain is between 5.2 and 6. If we place that enzyme in any other pH, then the activity will decrease. So to answer this question, all we need to say is that the activity will decrease. Provide reasoning to justify your prediction. Here is where we're going to explain why the activity will decrease. So here we explain that papain works best at pH 5.2 to 6, acidic. And when the pH changes, it affects the charges on the R groups of amino acids. Consequently, the amino acids will interact differently, changing the folding of the enzyme, including the active site, thus changing its shape and function. And this was the short free response question of the day. I hope you found it easy and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.